You know, that socket extractor seems to have a really amazing grip, but just how much material is needed to get a good solid bite on something? So I'm gonna show you a little demo in the bench vise today, just how significant the RPT socket extractor grip is. Okay, over here at the bench vise, here's what we've got. I've got a small Phillips head button machine screw here. I'm gonna drop it down into the bench vise. Make sure you notice that it is absolutely flush in the bench vise. Now I think that the Phillips head button machine screw is one of the hardest fasteners to get out once you've damaged and compromised the top of it. The RPT socket extractor is the perfect choice to get these stubborn fasteners out. I'm using a seven millimeter quarter drive. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take the socket extractor and just pound it down on top of that screw. Now one of the neat features of the socket extractor line, whether it be quarter drive or 3 8 drive, is they're all a dual drive setup. This one is a quarter inch anvil, but because of that hexagonal shape, I can use another socket over top of it if I choose to drive it with a bigger, larger tool. Now the whole point of this demonstration is that if I can grip down on the top of that screw in the bench vise and snap the head off, I would have been able to remove it. Here we go. And just look at the significant grip. Snap the head of that right off, no slippage whatsoever. Then we're gonna take the patented G-Force FOR pushing rod, put it in through the back just like this, and we'll go ahead and spin that piece right out of the tool. And if you can have a look at the top of that machine screw, you can see the indentations that I made with the tool. Simply a remarkable piece of technology from Grip Edge Tools. The RPT socket extractor, whether you're working on rounded nuts, rounded bolts, exhaust stud, even Phillips head screws.